In this video, we're going to use the Indigo Design Code Generator plugin for Visual Studio Code to generate pixel perfect code using the Budget Starter app. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll take a look at what the starter app actually looks like in Sketch. So this is the Sketch file that you can download from Indigo Design App Gallery. And you'll see that we have a couple screens here. There's several variations of the Budget app. We have this very simplistic two screen option. We've got something that is a phone budget app, and then there's also a tablet budget app. So any one of those you can work on generating code with. For this example, we're going to go ahead and generate this login screen and the welcome screen. So you can see here that we have all of the different inputs, usernames, passwords, passwords, sign up button. We have the paragraph text. All of this we designed in previous videos. So if you look at the video, creating your first artboard in Sketch and then understanding the layout rules for the code generator, you'll get an idea of how to actually create this yourself. And it's also in the help documentation, a step-by-step -step on how to actually create this page. So with that, what we can do is go ahead and open the starter project. And in the starter project, if we look at the source app, there's nothing here. There's actually no screens, no components, no nothing. Um, we've just got some data services and all of the other stuff that you would expect in a basic Angular app. So the first thing that we'll do is we will do an NPM install. And this will go off and ensure that all of the dependencies, including the Angular dependency and all of the modules that are needed to run this app are installed. So this will take a second. So at this point, all the dependencies are installed. So now we can run the code generator. If you have not installed the code generator yet, you can go to your extensions tab in VS Code, go to install from V6, and then select the code generator from wherever you happen to have the download. So I downloaded this to my downloads folder and you just click it and it will go ahead and install the plugin. I've already done it, so we don't need to do it again. So let's go ahead and actually run the plugin for the first time. Let's go back to our file view here and I'm back at my terminal. I'm going to do a command shift P and you can see I've got the Indigo design code generator. So I'll go ahead and click it on the bottom. The very first time you use this, it says setting up the Infragistics Indigo design code generator for the first time. That takes about a minute. What it's doing is it's installing Electron and any other dependency that the code generator needs. Now the code generator setup is complete, so I'm going to hit Command Shift P and we'll launch the code generator. Now I happen to have this prototype already running in the cloud, so let's go to our other desktop and we can see that this is what this should actually look like. This is in the Indigo Design Cloud. When I click the sign up button, I'm going to navigate to this screen. So let's go ahead and grab this URL. This is as easy as it is to get the code generator to recognize your cloud prototype. So I have that. Let's go back here. So let me go ahead and paste that in and I'll hit the button here and it pops right up. So you'll see I have my getting started screen and I have my logged in screen. So what I want to do is I want to generate the code for this specific component and I want to generate the code for this specific component on the screen. And these will be the main views that pop up. I already have in my app the Chrome for this, so I don't need that again. Also in the code generation settings, I want to use the theme colors that are coming across from the sketch drawing. I don't want to use the default Ignite UI themes. There's a couple other settings you can change here as well, like quotes the default images folder and the app prefix. So I'll just click OK and I'll go ahead and click generate code assets. So what this is doing is it's going to the cloud. It's telling Indigo Design Code Generator Service what I actually want to get generated. And you'll notice on the left hand side some things are showing up here like the login screen and the welcome screen. I'm going to say yes, overwrite the app module, and it says here it's finished updating my project. So let's go ahead and close all these guys out. So now let's go ahead and run our application. So all we have to do is an NPM start. 
and this will go ahead and compile the app and it'll open it up in Chrome. And it started up in Chrome and you can see that I have my nav bar across the top. We've got our start budgeting. I've got my inputs for first name, last name, and username and password that I can type in. And now when we click sign up, nothing actually happens. So one of the areas of the code generator that you still we still don't do is you need to actually input your own navigation. So in this case, we have to go add a little bit of code. So when you click sign up, uh, you'll actually navigate to the sign up form. So let's go back here. And what we want to do is in the login screen and the login component, we have added the on sign up clicked from the sketch drawing. So we add these events and you saw that in the previous video. So in this case, we're just going to say this.router.navigate. And what we want to do is we want to navigate to the welcome screen. So we'll just say welcome. And we better put that in some single quotes. And that's all we need to do. So now if we save this, it'll rebuild. Let's go back to Chrome. And it probably refreshed already. We'll click sign up. And like magic, it shows right back up where we expect it to be. So now, let me go back. If I break these apart, and let me make Chrome so it's not taking up the full view. Let's take a look and see what these look like side by side. So here's my one Chrome. And let me change this Indigo design screen. And let me resize it. So they both look the same. Now, of course, Indigo design, we told it to use a specific um, Chrome for the prototype. So of course you don't get that when you just use the browser. But you can see here that we have the exact same fonts, the exact same layout. If I do anything crazy like resize, it stays centered within the browser. So all of the sizing that we set up correctly with the layout rules works fine. And then if I click sign up here in my prototype, I go to welcome to budgeting. If I click sign up here, I go to welcome to budgeting and everything is exactly how you've designed it in Sketch. So with that, you've got a pixel perfect output in an Angular app from your Sketch file. So using Indigo Design with Sketch, the Indigo Design Cloud, and the Indigo Design Visual Studio Code Generator plugin, you get that pixel perfect output from your Sketch design.